How do ecosystems change over time? How do communities change over time? A community is a group of different species living together in an ecosystem. Ecosystems are defined as the interaction between living and non-living things. Succession is how ecosystems change. There are three types of successions. They are ecological succession, primary succession, and secondary succession. Ecosystems change after disturbances as some species die out and other species move in. The first species to colonize an ecosystem are pioneer species. Ecosystems also change through primary succession. It begins in an area where there is no remains of an older community. It occurs on newly exposed surfaces. For example, a volcanic eruption can create a new and different ecosystem. In 1883, a volcanic island erupted in the Indian Ocean. Two years later, the land began to grow grass. Then, 14 years later, species and plants of all type appeared on the island. By 1929, a whole forest had formed with 300 plant species. Secondary succession occurs when a disturbance affects the community without completely destroying it. For example, a wildfire. The difference between primary and secondary succession is primary succession completely destroys the community, while secondary succession does not. Do ecosystems return to normal following a disturbance? Ecosystems may or may not recover from a disturbance. A natural disturbance, such as a wildfire or storm in a forest or grassland, will recover. Secondary succession, such as a storm or wildfire, will often reproduce the original climax community. However, ecosystems that have multiple disturbances may not be able to recover. Human-caused disturbances may or may not recover depending on how serious the damage was. This is how ecosystems may or may not return to normal following a disturbance.